the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development has reaffirmed its commitment towards ending the vice of child labor. According to Uganda National Child Labor Policy of 2006, child labor refers to work that is mentally, physically, socially and or morally dangerous and harmful to children. Under our National Labor Force Survey of 2021, more than half of the children, that is 10.4 million, constituting 67% of children between five years to 17 years were found to be working. The Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Betty Amongi Yongom, said that there are thousands of children working in the informal sector with the majority engaged in the mining and agriculture sector as casual laborers. The minister highlighted poverty as the main drive of child labor in Uganda. Poverty plays a big role and that's why I indicated that all these programs that we are attempting now to take to the rural areas is to support the parents so that parents relieve their children from the hard work. According to Ongom, the ministry appreciates the dangers of child labor and has taken a number of measures, including following up with the industrial sector that they had previously warned against recruiting children and sensitizing people about the dangers of engaging children in work meant for adults. And given uh, guidelines to all our labor district labor officers to go to factories and make sure that those working in those factories and in the markets and in most of the mining and, and the landing uh, areas do not constitute children. So many children have had negative impacts, some of which includes losing their earring because of for example, where they are in, in, in dangerous areas, in factories, poisoning. You see children going into garbage area to collect sensitization, awareness, and ensuring that we support our people with household income. The Honorable Amongi added that the ministry is moving to provide grants to the elderly guardians between the ages of 65 to 75 years as a way of improving household incomes. The beneficiaries will fill a form with the local community district officer. This is expected to help in fighting child labor due to poverty. That's why we said we need to empower the elderly, so we put in place a program which is called a special grant for the elderly. This is a grant that we give to uh, people between 65 years to 80 years, those who are not yet getting SAGE money because SAGE is paid from 80 years and above. On a light note, however, the Honorable Amongi acknowledged the importance of giving children light work as a way of training them to learn the value of hard work and also acquire hands-on skills. In the African context, we still recognize that for a child to learn, you give them some work. Some of the example of light work that you can give children uh, 14 years and below includes, for example, uh, sewing, uh, washing clothes, uh, looking for firewood, helping in the garden, not digging, but helping in the garden. The 2023 World Day Against Child Labor will be commemorated on 12th June 2023 under the theme Social Justice for All and Child Labor. In Uganda, the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development and other stakeholders will hold a dialogue in Kampala to discuss strategies and means to end child labor in the country. Mary Prima Awar, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.